the very first card that you get is from Isis, talking about balancing your home life with your career life. Home life can involve family, but it's also just kind of your sacred space. It's your, you know, home is a sanctuary. It's, it's kind of balancing career with the sanctuary feeling of home. As you're balancing that, <laughs> balance is important. The next card that you get is from Archangel Ariel, uh, saying that balance is very important. Anybody ever felt like that? <laughs> I love this card. This very much feels like your energy for me. It feels like your energy kind of more like for right now, as you're trying to balance all of these things, um, you might have a lot of different projects going on. Uh, this balancing act uh, could be how you're feeling, but notice that, you know, it's, it's aerial, it's fun, it's pink right a great color and this blue sky and he's balancing and she's just kind of hanging out with them you know it's like he's doing his work balancing everything and she's just kind of hanging out it's balancing home and career path with potentially maybe lots of different things that you're doing um the next card that you get is from Raphael, uh, talking about your childhood, remembering how it, remember how it felt when you were doing something that you absolutely loved when you were a kid, and you had that sense of wonder and joy that children have in that purity and innocence of just doing projects that they love doing. That's what it feels like for you guys. That it's going to come together in May if there's anything that's sort of where you're balancing and things are, you know, if you're starting to feel a little bit stressed out. What they're saying is to let it be fun. Let it, you know, allow yourself to embody that childhood energy of how, how just deliberate and fun it is when you're working on projects as a kid. We're talking about joy. This card is top center for you guys. Joy. Let it be fun. Balance is important, um, but, but letting all of it be, be fun and peaceful, and, <laughs> right? So choosing peace in, at home in your sanctuary and choosing joy with family and joy with the work projects that you're doing. It's like all oh, good, just let it be fun. So if you're feeling like this and it's stressing you, allow yourself to remember what it's like to feel like a kid and let it be fun. There's nothing to worry about, they're saying. There's nothing to worry about. So this would be speaking to those of you that might be feeling a bit overwhelmed or uh, like there's too much going on and maybe you want to feel like you kind of pare it down a little bit. Um, uh, it's not necessarily that you w would, would want to give up anything. Uh, so for some of you, it feels like you may not necessarily want to give up anything, <laughs> but then it just continues the balance. So let it be fun. All right, there's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this, you are being sort of divinely guided. It's like you have a lot of gifts and um, a lot of heart and you want to help people. And it's all, it's just sort of giving and give and take, give and take. So for those of you who might be worrying about things, they're inviting you to listen to your internal world, you know, making sure that you're lined up with the projects that you are doing, making sure that they do bring you joy, you know, um, listening to your inner voice, your heart, listening to your heart. Notice, you know, notice this picture. If you look at it kind of from a distance, it's a picture that might indicate a physical body kind of going within. It's just kind of this going within sort of image of listening to your heart and listening to your inner, your intuition. Because the next card that you get is the moon. This is Hanyo. Hanyo typically is about listening, it's sensitives. 
It's about the sensitives, honoring your emotions, honoring every emotion you have, and listening to your intuition. So you have two cards talking about listening to your intuition. You know, this childlike kind of uh, finding as you listen to your intuition, honor any feelings that might have you worried, and find the joy in the projects that you're working on. If any of them don't spark joy, then maybe you do want to let them go. You're in charge, right, of, of what you're wanting to do. So maybe some of you do have 15 projects, and it is overwhelming, and it might be that um, maybe one or two of them, you're doing them out of maybe some sort of sense of obligation to family, for example, um, where maybe uh, now's a good time to sort of work that out because this is what wants to come up for May. As if, as if you will get a, a, everything balanced and just May just feels like this for you. You also get the star, a dream come true. Believe in yourself. You've done well. You've done well. You got the star card. It's like keep going with all that you're doing. Just kind of keep going. And then here comes Ariel again. You have invested wisely. You have used your mind wisely. This one is coming up under the listen and uh, you know, listening and following your intuition. And that also feels really strong for you guys. Like you have been doing this and it's going well for you. It's like, this is going to work for, you know, keep doing that. It's working. You've done well. You've invested wisely, you know. So it's almost like even if there are some projects that you want to you know, let go of at this, at this point, it has that feeling that now's the time to let go of it anyway. So it doesn't, for you, it doesn't feel like it needs to be a stressful, like, oh, I have to stop doing that. It's more like, okay, if there's something, this is a general reading. <laughs> so for those Taurus who are kind of feeling like, okay, yeah, maybe it's time I can let that go. It's maybe it's kind of run its course and I can let that go. So thinking combined with following your intuition. And that is a good feeling. That's a good, positive, empowered feeling. That's the feeling that you guys have. You're also getting Ariel again. Ariel is with you guys in May. Uh, look at all this pink. You know, the flowers are coming out. It's, it's very joyful. This again is coming up under, under joy. Um, Ariel comes back to say that when you give, you also receive. It goes both ways. Now this card specifically mentions money. And so they are addressing money, giving and receiving, giving and receiving, and that being connected to, and she wants to come back, the career aspect of the projects that you're doing. Money comes and goes, and it comes in and it goes out, and it just looks like a beautiful flow of money for you with the projects that you're working on, both from Ariel, right? One, two, three, three cards from Ariel, <laughs> three messages from Ariel. You also have then, as we go forward in the reading, it's as if now you've kind of, okay, you're going to be looking at balance, you know, letting the, the, um, letting the projects that you continue to work on spark joy in you. And if not, find a way, a different way of looking at them or alter them a bit using your mind, right? how you look at things, listening to your intuition. Maybe you want to alter some things and how you want to do it. Balancing with your family and your home and your sanctuary. And now we get into Uriel is saying that in terms of your career, you're a leader. A leader of your own life. A leader of your own life, okay. And uh, also potentially a very much a leader in your career path, whatever 
um, whatever uh, your career is about, you're uh, very good at being a leader in um, whatever you're working on. And they're inviting you to, um, you know, don't hold back. If you have some ambitions, some, you know, what may feel like really big dreams, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Because it could be time to collaborate. It's as if it's as if maybe some of you have in mind for your career path something big. And they're saying that you're a, a great leader and it's time to collaborate. Like, get your team together. <laughs> and this is coming up under this one as well, how children play well together, right? So this card actually too says, um, new friends, rekindled relationships, maybe from your childhood, could be part of um, who's going to come in to collaborate with you. Uh, they're also saying family. A uh, family could also be collaborating with you. So communicate your dreams and what you'd like to create uh, with family and friends. It's time to collaborate and work together with you as, as the leader in a really powerful and a really good way as the leader. See the big picture from the eyes of the giraffe, <laughs> way up high, see the big picture and allow yourself to see it. Okay. Okay. Allow yourself to see a big picture for yourself. Allow yourself to see the bigger picture. Now this, these the children are looking at me again. <laughs> Children don't have any res reservations about things, you know. They haven't been sort of kicked around by life yet. They have big dreams, right? Children have big dreams. And so they're saying, you know, allow yourself to see the bigger picture and go for it. Again, I keep hearing that again. Go for it. Anything is possible. You're an amazing leader. And as long as you continue with what sparks joy in your uh projects and your career path and choosing peace to allow you to get grounded and and feel calm at home as you collaborate with family and friends and co-workers and potential partners uh, that sort of thing allow yourself to see the big picture and then dream that world into being so we're getting the lizard, dream what you see, what you dream about, allow that to come into being in the world. Okay, spirit has your back. Spirit has your back, this is divinely guided. Divinely guided, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, he wants to come back. Spirit has your back and there's nothing to worry about. Allow yourself to see the bigger picture and bring that dream. See the bigger picture and dream that into reality. You can do it. Go for it. <laughs> your final card is to go for it. So that's why I keep hearing this through your whole reading that it's just fun. Balancing in terms of collaborating with everyone. Getting clear about what sparks joy for you listening to your, or you know what? Yeah, continuing to listen to your intuition. Continue to listen to your intuition. You guys are doing really good. This is good. It's, it's working. It's working in a lot of ways. So keep going. Spirit has your back. Go for it and dream that big dream. Allow yourself to dream big. Dream that into reality. Just go for it.